Hey folks, Mel the Train Tutor back in the studio and back with another tutorial for you. And in this tutorial we're back in the Let's Make Some, we're dealing with our Battlefield Basic series. But we're not building bunkers or infantry obstacles, instead we're looking at the effects of war on woodlands. Yes, we're doing scorched woodlands, so if you want to know how to scorch your woodlands up, come on over to the bench. Come on! Now when it comes to doing scorch woods, the key elements are the trees, okay? Now we can buy trees, we can make them, I've got loads of videos in the foliage playlist, but these are woodland scenic trees and these are really good because they're one of the few model trees that are sold as armatures that you then add the foliage on. And obviously with scorch wood, there's no foliage on them, so having the bare armatures is a major plus. So we're going to be using these for the tutorial, yeah, obviously you can use your own trees, you can use twigs and all sorts of various other things, yeah, I'll explain as we go. But the next thing is the base. Now for my base I've got a piece of EPVC here, it's been, what you call it, beveled and sanded, so it's nice, it's nice and smooth around the edges. And if you don't know what EPVC is, here are the fast facts, pause if you need them. So my first job is I need to glue my trees down. Now, just for speed, I could use a little bit of PVA, yeah, but for speed I'm gonna use super glue because it's just a little bit quicker to get these down. Now the bases are removable, so I can leave the trees off while I do all the work on the base. And it literally is just a matter of adding a little bit of super glue. That's quite a nice bushy book, big tree, so we'll put that one there. Yeah. And drop that on there. And then the next thing I need to do is, I just need to go along and add a few more of these tree bases. Now they're all glued on and it's time to actually texture up our base. So I've got a little bit of PVA there. Yeah, I'll just water down my brush to help, help it spread. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna give this a coat of PVA. Yeah, and I'm gonna go all the way over it, all the way up to the edge of the trees, tree stumps. So essentially covering the tree bases. So I've got a nice smooth coat of PVA on and it's time to grit it up. I'm going to put it over a bit of cardboard, catch the excess. Yeah, rest it on a couple of paint pots so it's not going to stick to the cardboard. And then what I've got is I've got a little bit of coarse grit and I've got some uh, fine sand. Yeah, and we'll do a little bit of sprinkling of the coarse grit, mainly around the edges, mainly around the, the actual bases, just to give it a bit of just to break it up a little so it isn't just completely flat with, with what you call it, with the, the smooth sand. Smooth sand? What are you going on about, Postcop? <laughs> right, next up this lot, and this is just a matter of sprinkling it on and giving it a texture. Yeah, so I'll just carry on sprinkling this on. Now that's all sprinkled on, time to quickly shake off the excess. Yeah, and that will do us. You can see I've missed a couple of spots, but we'll grab that on when we, when we do the, the, the static and the flock and that sort of stuff. So don't worry about that. Right, we'll put this up to dry and then we... So my base is all dry now and it's time to start the painting. And because we've put grit down, I really want to seal it a little as well to hold that grit in. So I've got a bit of really dark brown on my palette. Yeah, I'll put a little bit of PVA in there because it'll help it all bond together. Yeah, so splodge it on. Paint it up. The key trick is, when you paint it on, remember, don't go back over the areas you've already done. Yeah, so if it's wet, leave it alone. Right, I'll crack on. Right, my brace is pretty much dry now and it's time to start the flocking. So what I've got here is a bit of PVA and some, what shall it, a little bit of water to water it down. And all I'm going to do is, I'm mainly looking to apply it, okay, and I need to get this right, around here and around this edge here. So, I'm gonna be missing out where I'm gonna be doing my scorching. Okay, so, I'll start applying some PVA and I'll bring it back once I've got my PVA on it. So that's the base PVA'd up. And as you can see, yeah, it wasn't quite dry in a few spaces, but I'm not going over it with PVA so I can get away with it. I'm not too worried. Right, next job is, we've gotta do our, our watch color, our fucking. Okay, now I've got a bit of dark, so I'm gonna put a couple of little spots of dark on. We'll put these mid-wood, I reckon. Yeah, where you get the darker patches between the trees. Yeah. Next off, we've got a little bit of light. Yeah, so we're going to put this a bit round the edges because that's where the grass would be lighter. A bit more there, I think. Yeah, so we're to that stage. And then finally, the mid-green to blend it all together. 
pop this off without it going absolutely everywhere, Boastical. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Right, so, and it's just a matter of sprinkling it on to help blend it in. Give me a sec. Right, there we go. It's all on. Tap the excess off. Blow it off. And that's what we're left with. Okay, which is perfect. We've got the light bits, we've got the dark bits. Now what we need to do is we need to leave this to properly dry. So I'm going to leave this overnight and bring it back tomorrow. Now as the texturing dries on our base, it's time to tackle the trees. And as I said, I'm using Woodland Scenics. Okay, now Woodland Scenics, they tend to come in a pack, in a kit, with everything you need. So, uh, I've got here Hobby Tack, which is a stay tacky latex adhesive. Okay, now you could use super glue, a gel super glue, you could use hot glue for this, but I'm using what you know what the, the hobby tack stuff. Now, so basically get it out, and all I'm gonna do is I've got five trees here, but I'm only gonna do two of them, and you'll see why in a little while. Yeah, so I get my hobby tack out and I scrape my brush because I don't want to put too much of this stuff on. The trick with this stuff is to put it on thin. If it's too thick, then it won't work. It'll take too long to cure and become tacky. Okay, so what you need to do is, dead simple, I need, what I want to do is I want this tree to be half burnt out. So I need to pick a side that's gonna get burnt, yeah? And then I need to, to prepare the other side, yeah, for my clump foliage. Yeah, so I'm just putting these white bits on just like this, and I'm gonna do this sort of side, I think, yeah. A little bit everywhere. So, as you can see, if I hold it like that, yeah, you'll notice that this side is pretty bare, yeah, I haven't done this side of the tree, sort of that side, okay, but I've done the rest. And then while that dries, I've just got some bases, I've got some white tack, sticky tack in here, that'll just hold it up straight, yeah, while that sort of cures. So the, the thing you've got to do with this is just let it go clear. When it's clear, it's tacky, it's ready to attach the clump foliage. So I'm going to do the same with this one, and I think what I'm going to do with this one is we will do... We'll do mainly this side, I think. Yeah, so exactly the same process. I'll crack on and do this, come back once it's done. So, 20 minutes later and they have gone pretty much clean. There's always a little bit of white blobbing you get where it's glooped up, but don't worry, that'll cure. But if I do that, as you can see, yeah, it is tacky, <sighs> quite tacky. Now, the next thing is we need our clump foliage. And for this, I'm using Woodland Scenics. Yeah, it goes with the trees. And I've got burnt grass, which seems rather appropriate and all I'm going to do is I'm going to go along and on where I've got my it's stuck to itself and on where I've got my bits I'm just going to start adding them on and just sticking them down yeah and it's just a matter of just pressing them onto it yeah and they just cut, go on and they just stick yeah just like that so I'm going to work and I'm going to apply the, the clumps to all the armatures where I've applied the hobby tack okay so a bit more of that Stick it on, crack on, see you shortly. So our flocking on our base is dry, guys, and it's time to start the scorching effect. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is, I've got a can of Army Painter Black here. Yeah, and all I'm gonna do is, I wanna darken this area here and keep this area green. So I'm gonna focus there. When you spray with spray cans, yeah, it can be a bit excessive, so, because we're going straight for, the, for this piece and we don't want to get it round the edges, start and aim for the center mass. And then as you've got an idea of the control and how it sprays, then move it out to the outer area. So, there you go. It's as simple as that. Okay, so that bit's done. We're going to have to do these. Now these are just going to be a sit, in fact I should move that out of the way before I spray it with, with overspray. Yeah, so these, pretty simple matter of. Yeah, I'm going to get it all over my fingers, aren't I? I should get a pair of gloves for this, really. 
Yeah, so we're going to spray paint our bare arm, which is black. Okay, and finally, we've got our, what you call it? We've got our trees. Now, if you remember when we put the trees together, we left half the side empty. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grip it there and I'm not going to spray the tree directly. I'm going to spray over the stream tree and sort of catch it so that the spray line is going like that over it. So hold it like that. Yeah. Yeah. And there's our scorching. A little bit more perhaps. Just get a bit more of that and then a little bit there just to make sure the branches are done and that's it done that's our scorched tree so lovely and green one side dark on the other side and we need to leave these to dry now so i'll bring them back once all these bits are dried so that's our base all primed up and the next job i've got to do is i just want to add these trees and just to make it simple i'm just going to use a little bit of super glue i think that one goes there yeah so a little bit of super glue on them and then stick them in. Back in a second, guys. So that's our trees in, yeah? All painted up and looking beautiful. Now, quick little point before I go on. Obviously, I used a rattle can spray black to do this. The best, yeah, way of doing it is with an airbrush and with your black, put a touch of dark brown in it just to take it off the black. It looks a little bit more realistic. But as I always say, yeah, the majority of you guys don't have airbrushes, so I don't do these tutorials with airbrushes. The next job is you always get a little bit of ash and stuff when you get scorched, what you call it, sort of woodland and that sort of scorched ground. So I've got a little bit of white, yeah, just cheap acrylic, yeah. I've got a toothbrush. I haven't done this since I was a kid. Yeah, just on it. Test it, yeah, that's okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to come in. And we're going to give it a bit of a spray, kiddie style. And if I bring it up, see the ash? Looks beautiful, doesn't it? I mean, what you can do is with your brush, just, you know, lightly. <laughs> he says lightly. You know, touch over little edges. The ash would be at the points, the, the tiny bits which really burn a lot. Yeah, so you wouldn't get ash on the main trunk, really. It's all the, the, the little offshoots that you get the ash. Yeah. Now, a couple down here as well, because these would be ashy. These would be in the heat of the fire, wouldn't they? Yeah, so there we are. Next job, we've got to add our other trees. And this is where it really all comes together. So let me just grab those. So here are the trees that we primed and I very quickly, just before bringing them on camera, just whiten the tips so they go with these. Next job is just the same as before. I've got a little glue. They're gonna get dropped down into there. So that's in there. And then I'll drop the other one in. And I've just got to position these so before the glue sets so they're just right. Ooh. And then this one, let's bring it around here. Yeah, drop that in there, go on, in you go, in you go, in you go, in you go. I'm just going to pop this in here. So there we have it. Now the remaining thing to do is I just need to drop a couple of little clumps and stuff like this just to break up the grass a bit. I always prefer doing that after the scorching. You know, it just seems to go right then, but it's looking beautiful, isn't it? Right, I'll drop the clumps on then I'll bring it back once it's done. You know how to do that, bit of PVA, stick your clumps on. So there you have it guys, easy peasy scorch woodland. Yeah, perfect for your battlefields, yeah, incendiary bombs. Don't worry, we'll do all the sort of stuff in the future. But yeah, scorch to start off with, and as you can see, yeah, simple techniques look really good. And as always guys, yeah, these are just the basic techniques for you to give a go. Yeah, the basic principles. I know you're gonna pick these up and you're gonna run with them, and you're gonna produce some some beautiful stuff, and I hope to see it on the Terraniacs, yeah? Link down below. Right, here are some pics, and then we'll go to the long shot. So there you go, folks. Some easy techniques to make some awesome scorched woodlands. Now, remember, the key to these scorched woodlands is planning them out, specifically with the trees. Remember, I use woodland scenics because you add the foliage to the woodland scenics armatures, 
Okay, uh, other wargaming trees, you might have difficulty getting them off. Uh, the foreground ones, yeah, good luck getting the foliage off those. <laughs> That's a job and a half. Now, not only do you have to plan it out and where your scorching is going to be and what size you, your tree foliage is going to be, obviously we've got the blacking as well. Now, as I said in, in the actual tutorial, Remember, we used a rattle can to do this because, you know, most of you don't have airbrushes. But if you do want to do it with a brush or anything like that, remember, four parts black, one part dark brown will give you a lovely just off dark brown that looks really good for bur burning. A lot better than this. Remember the little flicky technique with the white for the ash and just catch the little edges? It's the little details that make it pop. And all you've got to do is do a few of those and you've got some awesome woodland. Yeah, to add to your battlefield. And it looks and it belongs in a battlefield. Do you know what I mean? So, guys, that is Scorch Woodlands for you. Uh, obviously, if you've got any questions on the technique or anything like this, down below in the comments. Yeah, if you've got anything, you know, any suggestions or anything you think I should try or tutorials you'd like me to do, in the comments as well, guys. I always answer my comments. Yeah, on top of that, you've got liking, you've got sharing, and as always, guys, remember, these tutorials are only possible with the help of a few good folks out there, and I'm hoping you're one of those good folks. And if you are, please consider either jumping on Patreon and just pledging $1 a month. The more $1 pledges I have, the, the, the more time I can put in my videos, because the more the videos are worth, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and so I don't have to do like six or seven videos a month to, to, to make ends meet. The more one dollar pledges, I could do four and I could do far more detailed tutorials. But that's down to you guys. And if you're not into the monthly thing, that's down below. Yeah, you can jump on PayPal, yeah, send a one-off. The link's down below in the description. In the meantime, I've got loads more tutorials for you. We're, ra we're wrapping up the battlefield basics, yeah? We're going to be doing some trench lines really soon, okay? So keep your eyes out for those. And remember, guys, if you really do like these videos, yeah, please consider supporting them. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'll leave that with you. You guys are awesome as always. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. And I can't wait to see what Scorched Earth stuff you do. Yeah, sharing the train X. Catch you later, folks. All the best. Ta-da! Mel with his dodgy winking.